I love Dwarf Fortress. The community is great. The stories are insane. So I thought today I would just go through the subreddit just to see what's going on in everyone else's fortresses because I think a lot of it's probably not good. There might be some spoilers in here, just an FYI. So if you don't want to be spoiled, don't watch this video, depending on what you know. Do you know about the circus? Do you know about clowns? <laughs> First of all, war. War never changes. Agitated emus as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Did you embark in Australia? <laughs> Atu Die Malines, goblin, legendary, miner, and poet, naked except for a book titled Can Atu Die Malines Save the World? And a goblin phone crown. <laughs> Good for him. He has a goal. He wrote a book about it and he has a little crown. <laughs> My legendary fighter got cursed by a god after he toppled their statue. Okay. <laughs> I love that that's just like the response to everything in Dwarf Fortress. You're being invaded. It's like, okay. <laughs> so I made the Large Hadron Collider. <laughs> I remember doing the same kind of minecart glitch in Minecraft like years ago. My king is a night creature of some sort. <laughs> Nish Ningishud. He was made from a horrible experiment. This is like a political commentary or something. Good for him. Low places in life made it to king. <laughs> Got my fortress mascot hanging out in the dining room. <laughs> Look at that Gorlak just trapped to a pole. Just a very annoying boy. Just a head with feet and arms just talking away. Good for him. Everything they said about web spitting forgotten beasts is true. It's all over. Oh god, that's a lot of kills. <laughs> At least the goose gets to live. I'm, I'm happy about the goose. <laughs> Has anyone else accidentally mined away all their bedrooms instead of smoothing the walls? Open concept living space. Do you, do you think people just at some point realize that their walls are gone and should we stop mining the walls? No, this is just our life now. <laughs> New fortress, first migrant group. One miner and her seven children. Thanks. <laughs> at least they can like pick up stuff now. If I understand correctly, they used to just be like literally useless. Uh, that is just a forgotten beast hanging out like under someone's workshop. <laughs> Just like sitting under the floor there, just just chilling, just vibing. Literally terrifying. Trying to drop an anvil on its head, send in some dwarf warriors. That's about all you can do. Good job. <laughs> Sorted. As good a sign as any that there might be a were creature in my fort. <laughs> and now you will know why they fear the night. Ba -ba -bum. A great feathered serpent. It has wings and it is ravening. Beware its deadly blood. Dungo. <laughs> That's a good name for a forgotten beast. That's a really good name. It is very rarely sick, but it is totally clumsy. <laughs> there goes Dungo again, knocking the cups off the counters. <laughs> Needs a dwarf fortress, but this Gorlak is socializing in my tavern. He's super chill. Gorlak! He has an iron will and a way with words, but he has a meager ability with social relationships. <laughs> He's just a little bit stubborn and annoying. <laughs> I love him though. I've been playing Dwarf Fortress since 2011 and I love how it never fails to find new ways to entertain me. I found an entire castle in Dwarf Fortress that was being occupied by a small group of kobolds. I sent a party of five dwarves to demand tribute and got the funniest possible loot screen imaginable. Boyle's report, the leaves of wheeling, one cabbage. <laughs> I just started this fort and it has a 70 layer hole to magma next to my cart. Horrifying screams come from the darkness below. FPS death was imminent and paused the game with multiple cavens and an unsupported river falling into the pit. That's fun. 100 plus lost an apparent tavern brawl. <laughs> the sadness spirals that can happen in Dwarf Fortress are legit scary. You can only fix them by having water fountains everywhere. Yeah, let's just park her right on top of this ice. It's not like that'll melt or anything. Pshh. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You embark in like spring too, right? You have like a day before it just collapses. Gorlack! <laughs> Hello, Gorlack room. All of my dwarves turned into crocodiles. <laughs> Morphing fog more likely to be this thorough. I didn't realize that was a thing. There's just a fog that you can get that transforms all of your dwarves. That's cool. I'm glad that they're all tame though. That's good. They still have their job titles too. <laughs> I was wondering why this kid is moving so slow. Lead figurine of dwarves, lead scepter, lead crown, lead scepter. <laughs> really heavy is the head that wears the crown made of lead. I'm trying to learn how water works, I might have fucked up. Um, no, I think that looks perfectly good. I don't, I don't think you have any, any type of pressure issues there or anything. I think that's perfectly fine. 
flooded. All of the bedrooms get flooded. It's a little bit unfortunate. All of that from a single well, huh? Jesus. It's truly wild that people actually played this. Yeah, I mean, it has a certain charm, but it's just like kind of tragic. This is not the welcoming committee I was expecting. <laughs> You know, it seems like kind of a problem. I thought they were all coming to murder me, but they have all sworn loyalty to me and are considered domesticated. Okay, they're angels, apparently. All right, <laughs> that's, that's cool. Dude, honestly, this game is killing me and my sleep routine. I'm having objectively worse sleep thinking of my dwarves. Katie felt restless after dwelling upon seeing dwarves. <laughs> this was me for a long time, too. I had a miniature unprovoked anxiety attack in bed a few nights ago, and the thing my brain chose to fixate on was damp stone alert. Too real. Too real. Not recommended. A blatant plagiary and copy paste of RimWorld with Minecraft graphics. The developers don't even bother to hide this fact. Did this with zero shame. Don't buy. <laughs> I'm sure it's satire, right? Because th this game came out like 20 years ago or something. Recommended. A local jewel crafter starves to death because he had isolated himself in his workshop until he created a masterpiece and refused to leave for food. Went to clean out the workshop and someone made a masterpiece cup out of his skull. Game is great. <laughs> That's good. A goblin came to visit my tavern naked, save for a book called Never Underestimate the Goblin. <laughs> he looks angry that you're even thinking about it. Don't underestimate him. <laughs> Meet my Drake, the duck I bought because I thought the merchants were selling me an actual Drake. I need to look up what a Drake is because isn't it some kind of horrific monster or something like that? Oh, it's just a duck. It's just a type of duck. My tavern attract this monstrosity and he is just chilling. <laughs> A noose the boat of swimming. He's just listening to music. He's just having a good time. He's just hanging out. He is ex exhilarated after remembering getting into an argument. <laughs> I love him. I love him a lot. This game is the fucking babysitting simulator. <laughs> the corner wall things and the fact that dwarves do this type of shit where they just build the wall on the other side of where they're obviously supposed to. You think they could just add a check to see are they on the side of the wall that gives them like an obvious path. A vampire's punishment, a life sentence in the lever room. <laughs> That's pretty smart. Okay, build a lever room. If you have any invaders come along, you can just like pull a lever, close off the drawbridge to your fortress. And a vampire doesn't need food or drink or anything. So you just lock the door, you leave them in there. That's their one job forever. They, they can be a productive member of society. <laughs> he just thinks about how nice the door locking him in is and things like that. That's good. I'm glad he's enjoying it in there. This hit me kind of hard. Mountain gnome tears covering right eye. Mountain gnome tears covering left eye. No, the poor little mountain gnome. No, no, that's so sad, actually. Oh. An amphibian man representative just arrived at my fort, immediately jumped into my moat, and has not come out to social. Has never seen one of these, never mind have them arrive as a diplomat. I saw one of these scrunchy little boys in my door fortress game. I didn't realize they were literally amphibians that can just like jump in your water pools and just hang out there. And scratch that, he just turned into a were iguana in my moat. And scratch that again, and turns out that were iguanas can't breathe underwater, so he drowned. <laughs> I discover my goblin visitor happens to be a were lizard, and then he transforms in the middle of my tavern, and then he just starts reciting poetry. <laughs> Then he turned back into a goblin. That's good. And I like the tables and seats. That's that's good. He doesn't want to hurt anyone. I found Italy. <laughs> yeah, there's the boot. There's the boot. <laughs> cool volcano too. Very accurate. The were mongoose child prisoner, Cog Astelicot, has come. A large mongoose twisted into humanoid form. That thing used to be a child. It is crazed for blood and flesh. Its eyes glow blue. Its black hair is short and even now you will know why you fear the night. Okay. It's a good response. Something has collapsed on the surface. It's hard for me to tell what I'm looking at. Is that a volcano? Run! <laughs> that only happens if you embark on a volcano site that you'd previously built at. Ooh. My dwarf got ambushed by a giant bat within an inch of his life and had his spinal cord severed so he couldn't walk. Minutes away from his death, he became creatively inspired, dragged his half lifeless corpse up 30 flights of stairs, crafted a masterwork coffin, and claimed it as a family heirloom. Then he died. I threw his body in a pit and sold his coffin for $7,000. That's how you get ghosts. Don't do that. My best cook is in despair because someone ate her masterpiece meal, which apparently qualifies as art defacement. My artwork was defaced. There is no hope. <laughs> I feel like if I was a really good cook and I made the best dish in my life, I would hope that someone ate it. I have 
have no idea how to deal with this thing. It is a blob made of fire. It's not interested in my fortress. That's blind. It literally just exists on the surface and won't leave and it hurls fireballs at anything that gets near it. Well, I think you kind of just leave it alone. You kind of just let it walk around. Edit. Never mind. The fort belongs to the fire blob now. <laughs> This hamster somehow survived my trash compactor. <laughs> That's a tough hamster. Trash hamster. Triumph over adversity. <laughs> Worst hierarchy of needs. Drink alcohol. Cause trouble. Craft object. Make romance. <laughs> Say, please just fill them in like a normal dwarf. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, this is a valid path. Actually, I don't think it is because those are built walls. But still, just fill them in normally. It's not that hard. Oh my god. If only every Eris could be like you at your ass mill reg, my beloved. Accepting remembering being caught in the rain became less depressed and learned to value stoicism. I had so many people get so sad because they had to like go collect something out in the rain. This new dwarf has managed to reach the age of 100 137 without learning a single thing. <laughs> Kula Kudistalaf, 137 years old. No labor skills, no combat skills, no social skills, other skills, knowledge. Oh, she knows a poem though. That's good. Literally me. Y'all, I think I'm gonna leave this here. I love Dwarf Fortress and how insane it is. And this is a ton of fun. Let me know if you like this in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and stuff. Thank you to all the channel members too who support these videos. And I'm, I'm gonna go now. Thank you for watching. Bye. Gorlak. Korlak values introspection.